Yo dog, Kenny Boucher here. Next level painting. Hitting you up with part three of painting a chaos theme night time. Thank you guys for checking out the first two videos. I want to do a couple of quick shout outs because remember, Patreon is still a thing. Shane and Daniel, thank you for becoming patrons of the It means so much to me. It allows me to continue to do this and continue to bring the hobby back together. So, some of the things I want to talk about in this video are that I have two separate instances in this video where you can go back in time and check out videos that break those sections down. I painted the Night Titans base and Power Sword separately, two separate 10 minute long videos. So don't hesitate to check those out. See how I did them, get the intel of those. And because of that, I'm not gonna have nearly as much time in this video as I normally do. I only have about five minutes of actual painting, but I'm gonna go over a couple of really cool techniques and show you how to sort of mask things off on the fly, I'm going to show you how to, you know, get in there with the airbrush and do a little bit more on the cell and, and touch things up in weird ways. Don't forget, I'm going to be the Depticon this week. So this video will drop. I will be on the road. If you guys are going to be in Chicago this week and playing at the greatest miniature convention there is, please follow me on Twitter, follow me on Facebook. I will be tweeting and Facebooking our locations, where we're gonna be, where we're gonna be slamming whiskeys back, all that stuff. Please check us out, find us wherever we are. Me, Rob, Juice, Paul Murphy for Force Narrative. We're gonna have the long war stuff going on. So ultimate meet and greet, inaugural meet and greet for the long war. We're gonna need to see all the whiskeys raised in the air this weekend and I'm hoping to see you guys. Here it is guys, part three, painting a chaos night titan. We're hitting you with that quick OSL effect. I'm using Meridius Blue from Privateer Press. It's one of my favorite blues of all time. Definitely for this OSL effect. I recommend going out, picking it up. It's super good. See, we're just, what I did actually first, I prepped it. I painted it with a paintbrush, like the crystal there, that little weird chaosy crystal. And now I'm just going in and like just lightly dusting the surrounding cables and gun barrels were just that, you know, that same color, just to give it that, that OSL spectrum. I'm not trying to paint it with, 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 with the airbrush. Like it was easier to paint it with a paintbrush and just like missed it with the OSL to try to get that effect. I find it goes much faster. As you can see here now, it's getting lighter. That's because I picked out Arcane Blue. Yet again, my other favorite blue for Privateer Press. Arcane Blue is so good is the natural transition for this Meridius blue. It's super fresh and clean. I mean, just look at that little, just subtle, but really hard, amazing transition. So we finished that up. Obviously I tossed a little white on it too. You know, you've seen it. Check out any of my um, earlier videos uh, on technical effects. Now let's do these horns. This is like one of the most interesting parts of this guy. We're using the old Vallejo Air Earth. And I'm just kind of laying down a quick little transition back to the original earth color after I washed it. Just real light. Uh, Cause we're gonna get, we're gonna get crazy with it. So just build it up. Be careful not to spray it all over the cables. Get your angle right, you know? This is um, one of those times that you just want to be patient and methodical. But sometimes even a pro has to um, get some training wheels. And that's about all I can do without them. So you see a really nice smooth beginning, but that's not, I want to do more than that. He looks great. Like, I'm not going to lie. I'm just, <laughs> I'm very happy with this guy. I'm proud of him. But let's finish this guy up right now. We're going to go in, peek out those horns, drop some whites in there, mix them in with that earth, really make that horn look clean and transition. Here's the training wheels I was talking about. 
You can see I just used some paper, used some tape, and I'm trying to just cover his shoulders up and his hair the best I can. Just I don't, I'm trying to get down in there, but I don't want to spray this all over his red. I can get a little bit on the cables. It doesn't matter because I can really go in there and just dry brush it off the cables. That's fine. But I'm not like spraying it on there on purpose. If it gets there, it gets there. But I'm really actively trying to avoid it. I mean, look and look, there it is. Look at that transition. Nice ivory, bony white. I mean, looking super clean. <laughs> I mean, he, he reminds me of one of those dogs with those um, cones on. So I'm coming in with the darker burnt umber, and I'm going down to the beginning of the of the protrusion, the, how the horn comes out of the guy's head. But I'm finding those areas and burning them out, and being careful, like I said, not to get it all over the cables. But our dog cone, as it were, is making it so that we don't get any of this on the red. There he is, just looking clean. I mean, he's basically done here. Don't forget, follow those links in the beginning of this uh, episode. I have all the basing and sword tech already laid out for you. 20 more minutes of content. Absolutely, just check it out. Go to the airbrushing section of the playlist. Find those videos and I will show you how to do the crossfade effect and the base effect. Some of my favorite effects. And here he is, man. I mean, he's just, um, it was really fun to paint. I'm super glad that I got this opportunity. Let me announce the winners of this giveaway here on an upcoming episode. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the flip side. All right, guys, thanks for checking that video. It means a lot to me for you guys hanging in there for the three part video series. I'm going to try to start doing a lot more, you know, get it done in one kind of video, especially moving forward uh, into April. I'm going to be hitting you with some new stuff. I'm going to hit you with those Adeptist uh, Mechanicus trains, I like to call them. Um, I got those really cool purple flyers for the Elder Army I had painted. Uh, I even have a couple of other things in the, in the pipe, like some Necron stuff uh, and many more. Please, don't forget, subscribe, like me, find me all the places, all the social medias. In the meantime, thanks for watching, players. Yo, dog, thanks for checking out my channel. And don't forget, I've got plenty of other tutorials, tips and tactics, and many more. Also, if you get a chance, check out my best friend Robbie B's channel, Spiky Bits. He's got tons of sick videos dropping. Thanks for watching.